What's up, everybody? It's your boy Inkari with another unedited unboxing of some Grand Archive. These products are the recollection boxes uh, surrounded by two champions, Tristan and Sylvie. Uh, one is uh, surrounded by slimes and the other surrounded by shadow clones. Very cool, very nice premium products. Um, if you want to relate this product to any other product from other TCGs, consider them like elite decks, elite trainer decks. What are those called in Pokemon? <laughs> Ultra premium decks in one piece, elite trainer decks from uh, Pokemon. The only catch is these come with a full playset of every card. So if you buy one, you are good to go and you do not need to buy more product, which is kind of insane. But if you, what, once I get in here and then let's use like, no, <laughs> let's use scissors. I bought some new scissors <laughs> after the catastrophe that was a meteor strike in the uh, case opening. I'm just gonna open it up real quick. And show you how premium of a product this thing is. All right, so we got these two boxes, pre-ordered them at least like, I pre-ordered these like a week before Worlds. And then I totally didn't realize that at Worlds, there was a, I didn't realize that at Worlds, we were having a pre-release event with these. I thought we were just opening boxes of MRC, but no, the pre-release event was everybody was getting one of these two boxes. And it was actually really sick. I'm not sure if I like autofocus or manual focus. I'm not sure if I like manual focus, but sorry if we're having some weird focus issues or if the video is a little too slow because I have to manually um, focus, but we're trying out manual focus. But yeah, here you go. Here's the contents of the Tristan deck. Uh, durable magnetic storage box. Pretty nice. Uh, Pre-constructed deck of 60 cards, right? And then there's a 12 card material deck, of course. Uh, it's main for the game. We got a hundred. We got dragon shields. Usually when you buy an ETB from Pokemon, they give you like Pokemon sleeves, which I'm, <laughs> I don't like, but these, these come with dragon shields with art from Grand Archive. And those, I've been using those ever since those came out. Um, and then we got a set of cards completing the play sets, which is awesome. So now you have four of every card. We get damage, we get a damage counter, which is actually pretty sick. Art dividers, pretty standard. And then we get three Mercurial Heart booster packs. Pretty sweet. Same thing on the back of the uh, Sylvie side. Just look at that real quick. Really nice gold foiling, but with Sylvie and green instead of Tristan and purple. But yeah, let me uh, move these and then I'll show you another reason why these are premium products. They're not just ETBs. You got a little magnet right here. You can see right there, magnets. But then it's almost like a, oop. <laughs> it's almost like a premium third party uh, deck box. It's kind of insane. Uh, like the Dueling Guard ones or the uh, Mana Moon ones. Those are pretty insane. And then in here, you can see we get the three booster packs. We get the three booster packs from Mercurial Heart. We get a legit. 100 art sleeves from Dragon Shield with art from the character. We get the, uh, this is the uh, pack that completes the play sets of the 40 card deck or the 60 card deck. And then here's the actual deck itself. Very nice premium gold foiling. I don't know, etching, um, but yeah. So we can open this. We can open these. We're just gonna look through the deck real fast. We don't have to, I don't have to explain everything in the deck. There are better videos on YouTube for that. So we're just doing a clean unboxing, showing you what comes in these boxes. Here is the Tristan art. Very good, very nice, super amazing. Grand Archive products are pretty sweet now, I think. Well, before it was just booster boxes and packs. Uh, and then, um, then, uh, event packs or if you went to like a store and played an event there um but yeah 
Here are the Tristan. Pretty amazing. <laughs> I can't, I don't know, I'm running out of words. I don't have much words. I'm not, I was never really good at English. But yeah, so these, these sleeves are pretty good. We can open them up real quick. To show you that they're good quality. It would have been good. It would have been smart for me to have some on the side already. But um, all that stuff's on my dining table because I'm sorting out all of my Grand Archive bulk from Worlds. All my Mercurial Heart's still here too. But yeah, these are legit Dragon Shields. They do feel a little different than uh than the other art dragon shields that we've seen before. Um actually you know what? I've never really tried flesh and blood art dragon shields. But uh shuffling with these do feel a little different than uh normal non-art dragon shields. Um not used to using manual focus on the <laughs> But yeah, uh, I don't know. I've been using these for the past, what, three, four months when the Arisana, when I found the Arisana one at Nine Day Games. Ever since, ever since I found the Arisana sleeves, uh, game over. I've been, that's all I've been using. <laughs> um, so I'm not sure, based on your guys' preference and how I can convey to you that these are good sleeves. I do like these sleeves. Um, I do play a lot of TCGs, and I've been using these sleeves. Not these specifically, of course. Arisana sleeves and Tony sleeves. Funnily enough, <laughs> I still haven't gotten the Diana sleeves. But, uh, but yeah, I do enjoy these sleeves. I think they are very high quality, and these are sleeves that I would get. These are the only sleeves that ever came with a product that I would actually consider using, because every Elite Trainer Box sleeve that I've ever gotten, every One Piece sleeve that I've ever gotten, um, those don't feel too great on their own like i would only ever use those if i put a oversleeve on them and uh i'm not sure uh i'm not i'm not too much of a fan of that but these i would definitely use i could totally use by themselves but the art in this game is so good that i definitely want to put oversleeves on so uh we could just really quick run through here we'll run through these these uh pre-cons real quick because there is still a chance of getting a CUR, or CUR, CSR. There's still a chance of getting a collector signature rare in these things. Um, Cause that's how, ooh. <laughs> I have big thumbs, sorry. I should have like some sort of tool to open these boxes better. But yeah, we could just run through here. These are the, uh, these are, this is the pre-constructed deck right here. So this is the pre-constructed ratios and everything. You, you start off with Spirit of Wind. You got the level three Tristan that summons clones. Pretty nice. You got the, these two are new Tristans um, released with this set. Um, what is it? Recollection set. Um, you can also find them in the MRC, which is pretty cool. So at least that's cool. So you Tristan fans have new Tristan characters you can use. But we're just going to move pretty fast through here because, um, for one, I'm not exactly versed in how to play this deck. And two, uh, like I said, there are better videos on YouTube to explain how these decks work. And if you want to play them, what strategies you should think about. I love Shatter. Shimmer Cloak Assassin's pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. We got some good wind traps in there. We got some good shadow clone stuff in here we got poison we got curses very nice very cool um and then these this deck has a pre-arranged what's it called a pre-arranged ratios and then if you want to adjust any of those ratios that's what this box is for it comes ooh. this is also where the uh life counter and all that stuff are See, this is one, this is another thing, cool thing that I think is really cool. It's equivalent to the dice in Pokemon ETBs, but we actually have a life counter. Okay, <laughs> life counter, pretty sick. And then you got a, we got a life counter up here that goes up to twenty nine because if thirty, you're gonna be dead. 
<laughs> even Tanaris would be dead if you hit 30. Uh, but yeah, and then you got a secondary counter here. If you're playing Tristan, it's probably your uh, preparation counters that you keep track of up here. It goes up to nine. Yeah, it goes up to nine. So that's cool. Uh, this is super cool. Actually, I think it is a really cool product. Definitely something that I would be using if I didn't want to use my phone. Uh, and then we got some nice art for the card dividers. Yeah. The Nutristin level one and two. Very cool. And then here is the uh, complete set. This will complete. Um, this will make a four of for every card in that pre-con. So if you wanted to adjust it and then you wanted four cards, four copies of this or something, you could always get grab from here and put them in here and put them in your deck. And then we also have the tokens. OK, I didn't realize uh, the tokens weren't in the first one. We didn't get any tokens. And then, of course, you got your quick start guide. Pretty nice. Um, love these products. Although it doesn't compete with metal dice. <laughs> Although in Pokemon, you can only grab metal dice from. Uh, from uh, what is it? Pokemon Center. Pokemon Center boxes. Yeah, real quick. We'll go through the Sylvie one as well. Let's see if we get a CSR. That would be insane. <laughs> Can't really keep your hopes up, though. But yeah, here you go. We got a new Sylvie level three, but we have, oh, and we also have a Spirit of Slime, Spirit of Slime. This is a, is a new, we don't get new Sylvie level one and two. They're the same Sylvie level one and two that you would find in the starter deck in Dawn of Ashes, but we do get a Spirit of Slime, which allows you to ignore the elemental requirements of basic element slime. So you can summon er, Earth, Wind and Fire, or no, sorry, <laughs> Water, Wind and Fire slimes related cards until you hit level three, and then you can summon um, advanced element slimes like Arcane and um, Arcane Crux and uh, Arcane Crux. There's two more. They're in the back here. <laughs> Arcane Crux, Luxum and Terra. Yeah, there you go. And then, of course, this one is also just a Terra. So if you wanted to add Terra cards in the in the end, you can. Um, but yeah, let's look through them real quick. <laughs> So that's the champion. We got Bobble Bending, Peace Bond Ears, Peace Bond Pause, Peace Slime Pie, Slime Nexus, Slime Totem, Burden Staff. These are all new. Not all of them. Not all of them are new, but some of them are new to this. We got Baby Gray Slime. That's a new card. Very strong card. Forest Cake. Very strong. Idle Thoughts. We're just going to move smack, <laughs> smack this flute. Oh, uh, man. How unprofessional the video is. <laughs> it's just an unboxing, really. See if there's any CSRs in the middle of this, but um, it wasn't in the front, so I don't assume it's going to be here. Slime's Blessing. It's a new one. Give a buff counter. Yeah. Slime Shield. We got the Storm Slime. Crazy card. We got Ethereal Slime. Crazy card. Lustrous Slime's okay, I think, but compared to the other two slimes, I mean... Uh, and then we got Slime King and Verdant Slime. Slime King is amazing. Kind of insane. Uh, I still have yet to properly pilot this deck. But I've seen some others properly pilot this deck. And it's insane. So yeah, that's the Sylvie recollection. And then here's the rest. To complete the playset. It's just gold foiling. It's just gold texturing, but it's so I'm so amused by it. I think it's amazing. All right, cool. I don't think I don't know if there's any tokens in here, but we're just going to keep going. Red slime. Slime eruption. Blue baby blue slime, blue slime. Oh, baby green slime, green slime. More blessings, more shields. Here's some storm slime. Here's some ethereal slime. Luxurious slime. Lustrous slime. King slime and verdant slime that's about it so yeah that's another thing that's really cool about these is that it's really in the normal booster boxes it's really hard to find the right rare cards in a good amount oh, this is a rare <laughs> the babies are rare and then the normals and uncommon that's funny but um it is kind of hard to find play sets of cards that you need 
but this is an SR and you get four of those in one box. This is an SR, you get four of those in one box. And then this is a rare, this is a UR. You get four URs in one box. Like that's kind of crazy. Same thing for the Tristan stuff, but I just noticed that just now for the Sylvie stuff. Then real quick, we'll look at these. This is the life counter. Life counter for Sylvie. And here's the back of it, level two. Um, and then what's funny is that the uh, old Tristan, the Tristan one had, uh, uh, Tristan has two level threes. So on one of it, it was level three and then level three, but this is level one Sylvie and this is level two Sylvie. And then this is level three Sylvie from here. I don't know what this is. I, th I don't know which Sylvie this is, which art of Sylvie this is. <laughs> Please leave it in the comments. It is seems kind of random to me. <laughs> I'm still new to the game. I'm not sure what card this is, if it is a card. But yeah, so here we go. No CSRs, but we got the meat. This is the meat, the real gotcha of these boxes. And what was super awesome about the pre-release is that this is our first look at Mercurial Heart back at Worlds. Such an amazing feeling. We're just going to open it one at a time. Why not? We're starting off. We got Hub of Innovation. Scout the land. Oh my god. <laughs> so many of those cards. Water Veil Apostle. Ember Shield Keeper. Cell Vanguard. Common. We got another Lunar Seer. It would be nice to get a Meteor Storm. Because, uh, you know what happened to mine. We got Under Fire. Nice. And we got Suffocating Miasma. That is the first pack. That was from the Sylvie box. Sure. Um, here's the second pack on the Sylvie box. Gear Shift Block. Ominous Shadow Token. There you go. We got Self Forging. Novice Healer. Imperial Scout. Where's the... Where's the... I'm trying to get it properly. There you go. Imperial Scout. Refracted Twilight is an uncommon. Mechanical Hair is an uncommon. And then we got Frost Shard. Another rare. Give me a UR, please. Or an SR, please. <laughs> um, we got Purification, Favorable Winds, Savage Smash, Howard Bishop. Oh my god. <laughs> Shred to Ribbons. Kill that bull. We got Hurricane Farm for you farming hurricanes. Uncommon. Howard Armster. <laughs> Armster? Arm Master. Powered Arm Master. Ooh, yes! Yes! And we got an Icebound Slam. I have two of these now. I just need one more, I think, and I can build that Water Neos deck. That just came out. <laughs> the, the crazy thing about this game compared to Japanese games is that there are no, there is no pre meta, right? When these new sets come out, everybody's just in a mad scramble to make a deck list. And for those of us that aren't as good at deck building, we're just sitting here twiddling our thumbs, waiting for a good deck list. True Champion Gaming just came out with the Water Neos one that's about summoning tokens, and that's what I'm about. Trying to summon tokens. So, we got Molten Cinder. We got Potion and Flues Blaze, and... Ooh, Twilight Slime. Let's go. I have two of these now. I need another one. <laughs> two Twilight Slimes. Two Icebound Slams. You know what's really funny is that I only have... I opened an entire case of Mutual Heart, and I only got one... Convoking Slime, which is a rare, and that kind of just blows my mind. An entire case. I got one copy of a rare. Are you kidding me? <laughs> but yeah, here we go. We're in our second pack. We got a Blightroot token. Second pack of the Tristan box. Um, this was an uncommon. Impo potion Infused Seal. I don't know how Potion Arisana works, and I don't want to play Arisana with potions. So it really makes me sad that there's so many potion cards for Arisana. <laughs> I mean, you can play it with uh, Vanitas too, but here you go. Nah, last card of this pack, we got Cell Handler. It's just a rare. It's just a rare. Damn it. <laughs> um, not used to that art. I'm not sure if I've actually seen too many of those. But yeah, here you go. This is our last pack. We got Scout the Land. Gear Shift Block. Water Veil Apostle. Ember Shield Keeper. Cell Vanguard. Uh, Spirited Falconeer. Got that in a hollow. That was pretty cool. Uh, that's an uncommon. Uh, we got Aqua v Vite. And our last card is a rare Imperial Apprentice. Dang it. Kind of sad because um, 
when I opened one, the, I've I've only seen three or four of these boxes opened, and each one of them had a UR in it. Um, my buddy Will, he pulled a UR, the, the dagger, the UR dagger. In my box, I pulled a UR fragmented spirit of water, and in my buddy's box, he pulled the UR, uh, he pulled the UR premium materia. Uh, so <laughs> I I was kind of like. I got my hopes up trying to see if we could get another UR in here, but nope. We got two SRs though. Pretty crazy. Let's Icebound Slam and Twilight Slam. Icebound Slime and Twilight Slam. Nice. <laughs> We're going to call that a video, everybody. Thanks for watching. Um, these boxes are cracked and never in my... Never in my TCG career have I been like, yo, this is like the most worth product ever you know um because i've bought like ultra premium collections of of pokemon and all that stuff they came with statues and all that stuff but i don't know in terms of like being a practical like tcg guy that's also like going out to events i do feel like this is a really good product because you get a competitively viable deck there's a bunch of urs and srs in these decks and you could just like in every other TCG that comes out with a premium deck, they're like, yo, you could take this and then just go straight to a tournament. No, you you really can't do that. No, you're going to get destroyed. <laughs> you can go into a tournament if you want. You're going to lose every round. <laughs> Unless so, you're going against other people who are doing that. But with this, dude, if the pre-release Worlds event um, meant anything or taught me anything, is that these decks are legit. Dude, you can go into a game, you can go into a tournament or a local or whatever, and then only have this, these two boxes, and you can make a good deck out of it and be competitive, which is pretty insane. Of course, you don't have academy guides, you don't got dungeon guides, so the speed might be a little slower than somebody else who does. But, you know, if you go up against somebody, they do have that in their deck and they just don't draw into it, you don't really have much of a difference in competitive. <laughs> Of course, you know, there will always be those fringe cases and those crazy little cards that change how strong a deck is, but I believe this is an amazing product and quite possibly the best TCG product I've ever bought. Like, <laughs> better than a booster box, better than ultra premium collections, better than ultra decks. Like, I do think this is great. Of course, you did see that I've opened everything and I didn't get a single hollow. So if you're... If you're a cardboard fan and your cardboard has to be shiny, then um, I hope you like this because <laughs> this is the only shiny cardboard I got in these two boxes. <laughs> but yeah, everybody, thank you. It's been your boy and Kyrie. Um, really having fun with Grand Archive. Uh, and also, this is an unedited video that I made with little effort um, because I haven't uploaded anything in a week. So there you go. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. See ya.